Sure. Well, I'm uh, James Wilson. I'm Professor of Science and Democracy uh, at the University of Sussex, based at the Science Policy Research Unit uh, down there. Uh, and I'm here to talk about um, metrics and big data uh, as they're used in research management and assessment. So uh, how do we as the academic community uh, deal with the potential and the pitfalls of directing the power of big data on our own enterprise? Uh, and I'm talking about the emerging findings of a review that uh, I and colleagues have been doing for the UK government looking at uh, the future of the UK research system and the place of uh, quantitative data indicators in the way we manage that system, the way we allocate money, uh, the future of things like the research excellence framework as a mechanism for uh, measuring quality in the system and giving out public money as a result. Pleased to be involved in, in, in the, the committee for the conference because it, it seemed like a, a great opportunity to bring together a whole range of different actors, government, academia, uh, private sector, civil society, all of whom are engaging in different ways with debates around big data, uh, but where we don't often speak sort of across those different sectors and those different debates in a more holistic way. So, uh, uh, you know, I thought it was a very interesting and well-framed conference and, and, you know, a, a timely one as well. You know, I'm sure already prior to the conference and, and you know, afterwards there'll be connections, conversations uh, that will uh, you know, continue among those who are working on these issues. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know whether there's a sort of uh, a capacity to kind of create a new network per se, but it's certainly worth exploring and seeing whether there's appetite for that from participants and, and others in these debates.